Morning guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, today we're going to have a chilled out morning at home and then hopefully a bit later on have a walk up to the lighthouse. Thought I'd show you my old Simpsons throwback socks. Crusty the clown. Quite cool. My auntie's now turned up with little Alfie. It's my mum. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get Having a little walk with Alf Alpha. Bye bye. I'm looking at myself, to be fair. <laughs> Garfield's chilling out this end of the garden, aren't you, baby? Keeping an eye on things, aren't you? Right, we're now off for our walk. Um, it's clouded over quite a bit now, so hopefully we won't get caught in the rain. Right, now we're going to head up to the top of this road, which takes us in the woodland, and that should lead us to the lighthouse. Some really nice houses through here. Nice and quiet. Well, apart from the crows. <laughs> Start to feel the odd spit of rain. I hope we don't get caught in it. Marzi enters the enchanted woodland. Well, at least if it does start to rain, we'll be dry in here, Marza. Well, we've come to a little fork in the woods. Which way do you want to go? Yeah. Right, we've come to this clearing, this massive fallen tree. I think we're going to carry on making our way up this hill. Well, it's now pouring the rain. Hear it hitting the leaves above us. Luckily, uh, we can't feel it yet, but when we come out of the woods towards the lighthouse, it's all quite open, so we shall have to see. So quiet through here. Right, as we come out into this big open area. Got this big open field here. There's a zip wire over there, it's quite cool. And we have to head to the right to get to the lighthouse. Well, it's now officially peeing it down. Brilliant. It's quite a big space up here. I'm surprised they don't do more events than that on here. Obviously you can't at the moment. Right, we've got to go through this little cut through now to make our way onto the main path. Just the other side through there is the cliff top. Right, we're just going to make our way to the top of this path. Here's the lighthouse. About five minute walk, I suppose. It's raining ever so slightly, but nothing too bad. I think the hood's up really, just more for a dramatic effect. I said before on one of the previous videos, when you get a lot of snow, you get a lot of uh, people sledging and bodyboarding and not bodyboarding, snowboarding down these hills. Never done it myself, but definitely going to give it a go next time. 
Oh, we're now coming up to a lot of people. Keep your distance, people. That's not social distance, boys. Whew. Nearly at the top of the hill. Whoa. Right, we're at the top. There's the lighthouse. Lovely views there. The town is all the way over here. If you can see, but it is actually spitting with rain now. Right, the last little bit. Gotta walk through all this bracken. It's quite a narrow little footpath. And that'll bring us out to the lighthouse. That does still walk, uh, work. And I can see this from my bedroom window. I'm not sure if the bit on the back of it you can actually rent out as holiday homes or not. If people know, let me know in the comments. Right, we are nearly there. Here we are, Chroma Lighthouse. And if you got the money, you can land here on your old helicopter. And this is the view. See the church tower in the background and the sea? So nice. This is the side of the lighthouse. Link Cottage. Uh, private property. Doesn't say too too much about it. Wonder if you can stay here, it'd be quite cool. Especially up in that tower. This little sign here. Ah, here we go. Rural retreats. Holiday cottages with character and style, so you can stay here. That's quite cool. Well, if they watch this video and they want to give me one night free, I'll happily do a review on it. Not cheeky much. Right, we're now leaving the lighthouse. If we cut through this little pathway here, there's a great little viewing point. And there used to be like a telescope fixed to the fence, but it's been removed now. That was sat just on the top here. And this is the view from the viewing tower. Right, we're going to continue the video back at home because the weather is now taking a turn for the worst. So we'll see you back at home. Right, we're now back from a lovely walk. Um, it's absolutely pouring with rain now. Um, gonna have a shower and then uh, see what's on the box or maybe watch a movie. In my last video, I started doing a which movie do you think is best? Um, it got quite a lot of comments, quite a lot of feedback, which is good. So today's choices for you to pick out is Jurassic Park versus Ghostbusters. Which movie do you think's the best? Leave me a comment. Both absolute classics. Well, still spitting with rain. Apparently it's meant to be like this now up until Friday, so... Oof. Well, Garfield's chilling out on Mum. Aren't you, Your Highness? Cool, I'll tell you what. I just got these Henry Hippo sweets out of Lidl's. If anybody's had Percy Pigs out of Marks and Spencers, these are exactly the same. They are so tasty. Right, I'm going to end the video there, guys. Thanks for watching. Get yourself some Henry Hippos from Lidl's, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.